Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Now recently Helicon Techs as part of their 2023 lineup uh, in their patrol gear recently released some new MCDU pants. They looked a little bit different to what they'd done before uh, and after a little bit more investigation looking into this, so these were inspired by some 1950s Polish airborne pants um, and that's kind of where they've took the inspiration as far as the layout, as far as the pockets are concerned. Um, and they also did it on a, in, a, in a new colour range, so they've got the, the, the typical colours which you know we'll, we'll have a look at a little bit later but uh, they also brought them out in the RAL colours as well, or RAL, what is it, RAL 7013, I, f oh, I forget now, I'm going to I'm gonna have to leave it here. So yes, I thought I'd pick these up and test them out and give you some information on it. So as we usually do, I'll turn the camera around and we'll take a closer look at the Helicon Tex all new 2023 MCDU pants. Now before I start with them hung up and swinging around in the wind behind me, I thought it'd be useful to just give you a little bit of information about me. So I am 5 foot 10, I am about 210, 220 pounds. Uh, I usually go for a 34 to a 36 inch waist. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a 35 inch waist, which is really annoying. Um, I usually do, with Helicon Techs, go for an extra large, a European extra large is a 36 inch waist. But with the material that these are made from, the extra give and the extra stretch in these, I decided to go for the large, which is a 34 inch waist. They do feel a little bit tighter than usual. However, the give in the pants actually makes them feel all right they're, they're actually incredibly comfortable um, but yes so these are a large which is a 34 inch waist I'm also a regular leg which with Helicon Tex is a 32 inch inseam uh, but yes so let's let's have a look at the actual pants themselves so starting at the top working our way down as we usually do especially using this really advanced piece of hanging paraphernalia uh, I think it's probably best to start off talking about the materials that are involved in here so the main material that you get predominantly I'd probably say maybe 90% through this garment is made from this Dynaico um, material so Dynaco is a blend of nylon cotton and elastin so what you get from that is you get the strength and durability that you expect from from nylon you also get the breathability and comfort that you get from cotton plus you get a little bit of give which actually makes these really comfortable to wear plus with uh, the addition that this is a ripstop material as well gives you that extra strength that, that you need. There are some other materials in here so on the knee there is a section here that is made from Cordura just because this is a high wear area and then through the groin and across the back you have some of this Versa stretch material which also just means that you've got that extra little bit of give should you need to it. All of the zippers are YKK zippers and the rest, everything on here. Now I'm gonna say, I, I, I'm sure I've checked. So there are no buttons on this. Everything else is either zipper, so we now have a zipper on the crotch, uh, we have zippers on the pockets and everything else is, 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 uh, is hook and loop. So starting at the top, with the belt loops, so the belt loops you have 40 millimeter belt loops here across the front, you have additional belt loops across the back to give you that extra support if you're carrying uh, loads in each of these pockets. The closure on the front is hook and loop which you tend to get with the vast majority of these. Uh, it took me a while to get used to this, I, I will say that. Uh, mainly because uh, having used button flies on uh, button closures on so many different things it just takes a while but I can see why it's there because if you were to lose a button um, then you can have to find something to replace that whereas with hook and loop it's just you know there's, there's less of a chance in the field should I say um, of that that coming undone and then below there there is a zip now it is a reasonably short zip I will say now 
the the way in which these are designed they do feel closer to a modern day um, jeans so you will find that the uh, that the fly on here is a little bit shorter than some others certainly having a large um, um, let's just say I've not struggled getting anything in or out of there let's put it that way so moving down on the front we have these two large pockets pockets go all the way in uh, down to roughly about here certainly not any difficulties getting anything in and out of these perfectly situated for you to be able to put your hands in and get stuff across the top there is also some additional reinforcement should you have tools or a knife or something that you want to clip onto here especially as this generally tends to go around to the side and make sure that you get a higher wear out of the then going down past uh, past the two main front pockets you then have two magazine pockets these will fit AK, M4 and AR magazines in there plus as an extra note so I have a Google Nexus 6 and it fits in there perfectly so for your everyday kind of wear it's actually really good for that sort of stuff then moving down you then have these two thigh pockets now the thigh pockets or at least the geometry of the thigh pockets rather than being on the side of the thigh these are now on the front of the thigh so whilst you're sitting down it's a lot easier to be able to get into these pockets on the inside so so you have a zip to be able to get into these um, it's open on this side, but they've chosen to sew this side down so that this side won't won't lift up It does make it a little bit more flatter on the front But it just means that if you're trying to get in from this side You just have to make sure that you remember that um, that side doesn't open there is some um, voluming um, gussets on the side to, to give it extra volume then when it's in here so behind the back you have this mesh lining which is really nice and, and adds to to allow some air to get in there and then within there there is another pocket which which is the same as an AR M4 or AK pocket should you need extra organization while it's in there now the one thing I forgot to mention so in so in this pocket you have this really nice mesh lining in the main pocket it just has a cotton style lining I know with the urban tactical pants the urban tactical pants have the mesh inside the pocket whereas whereas these don't now we'll flip around to the rear so that we can have a look at that bit before we then we then go down now rather than having actually so we, we missed a part here so beneath the belt loops you have this panel of versa stretch so when it's on being able to squat down and keeping a tight belt especially if you have a, um, a tactical belt that may might have a, a firearm or something on there you want to keep it so that it is nice and tight there's very little movement around the waist when you're doing things like squatting or lunging or being able to climb underneath things so having this additional stretch through the rear panel really does make those activities a lot more easier through the rear hopefully you'll be able to see so we have a second panel that comes down here so this second panel does have a reinforced seat but the reinforced seat comes down just to the gooch because underneath here there is some more of that versa stretch now other pants especially things like the urban tactical pants so the urban tactical pant just has that diamond in there um, that just kind of goes through that green gooch area but then stops maybe two or three inches down the leg the way that these differ is that that versa stretch material goes all the way through the groin down the inside leg and then down to the back of the knee where there is another larger panel of that versa stretch material now I'm, I'm just trying to think of this the best the best way to put it so so generally when you're squatting you need to be able to have that bit between your legs so that it it then expands but you can often find that because your quads are contracting whilst you squat that you do get a bit of a pinch through through your quads so being able to get this so that it goes down further past that groin area while you're squatting 
makes perfect sense and it really does give you a lot more freedom to do that. The Urban Tactical Pants are great but these take it, they genuinely do take it to the next level and they're, they're a lot more, now I'm, I'm going to say this, the Urban Tactical Pants are incredibly comfortable. These are next level incredibly comfortable. Rather than having two dedicated large back pockets, instead you have two uh, rear hip pockets which will again fit AKM4 AR magazines. And then as we'd seen before, because the orientation of these front pockets has moved round so it's closer to the front, front of the thigh, with this one the orientation of these is, is closer to the back. Certainly means if you're lying prone and you need to get something out of your pocket instead of keeping it on the front or on the side and it'll have fallen around to the front, you can keep it in this back pocket. There are more, it's more hook and loop on here. Oh, that will open that up. Now the backing to these, so this doesn't have the mesh backing, this is just straight onto the, the, that normal kind of cotton material that you get in there. But again, you know you can fit plenty in this rear pocket should you need to. Identical on both sides, so you have those both those two hip magazine pockets, and then you have uh, those the, the 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 two thigh pockets, front and rear thigh pockets. Now, as an extra addition to this to help with heat management and ventilation, which not really seen on a lot of other pants other than the fact that you, you can open up some of the pockets. This has a large zip down each thigh, which will then give you access, or at least will then open out to help to expel some of the heat. This uses the same mesh, so rather than having a single line that you get in that front pocket, this is double lined, again, to help with dirt and debris being able to get into there. Um, and then you also have a little bit of gusseting either side of that so should you have anything in the front pocket or the rear pocket the extra expansion on that will push out into their own gusseting gusseted area rather than trying to take it away from the area where this uh, where the side zip comes in um, I've not had a chance to use this much mainly because it's the winter here um, but I have found that you open this and you can certainly feel the cold coming in uh, so I will definitely do some more testing on this through the summer I, I I'm definitely probably going to pick up another pair of these actually. Um, so I'll I'll come back and you know give you a heads up on exactly how well this is this is functioning through the summer as well. Now moving down the pants on the knee, as I mentioned, you have this it's almost like a little T. So it goes it goes across here and then it comes down the middle. So roughly where your patella will land if you are taking a knee, it gives you as much protection as possible. Or I suppose I got that the wrong way around. This isn't actually protecting you because there's there's no sort of padding in there. What this is do is this mainly is protecting the material on here. Uh, so this Cordura will give an extra strength to it. There is uh, some hook and loop underneath here. So should you want to put in, I'm trying to do it with my gloves on, sorry. So should you want to put in some additional padding in here, then you can fit something in. Now, Helicon Techs do state that really this should be some of the thinner padding rather than that really thick stuff that you get. I guess you could put that in there, but the opening to it is probably about 110, maybe 112 mil millimeters. It's not massive, so I think if you're trying to put in some of that really thick, dense uh, padding, you probably struggle to get it in through the opening. Um, but being able to put in some of the lighter padding will um, will definitely be a lot easier. On the back of the knee, uh, you then have more of this Versa stretch. So if you're worried about pinching on the back of the knee, all of that sort of stuff, it's a hell of a lot easier. If you do want to put additional pads onto these, having that Versa stretch on the back cradles it just a little bit better um, again you know some of this rougher material you do get a little bit of pinching on the back of the knee when you're putting additional ones on there uh, whereas this uh, you certainly don't get that moving down a little bit further down the back of the leg so where your calf is here you have additional hook and loop on here so should you need to get this around your calf perfectly to make sure that when you're taking a knee uh, the padding is in exactly the right place you have hook and loop on both sides depending on you know how you want to be able to position that 
Then moving, so actually getting closer to the end now. So this would be, because this is my this is my left leg on the outside, there is a, an additional calf pocket here, which is goes to the rear of your pocket uh, rear of your leg. So when you put it in, it feeds around into the calf area or the back of your boot if you're wearing boots. It's a pull down to open, which is a lot more friendlier uh, when you're wearing gloves as well. Then moving right the way down to the cuff on the leg here, you have additional. So on the inside, <laughs> the wind's blowing these, it's a nightmare. On the inside of the cuff, there is additional uh, uh, additional material on here as this is the area when you're running and your two legs are rubbing together this is uh, again you know it's, it's a high um, high abuse area and then when we get down to the cuffs so on the cuff here if you can see hopefully you can see so this is a, this is double uh, this is doubled over whereas here on this cuff on the inseam this is tripled over uh, so it's doubled over all the way around and then on the rear you get some additional hook and loop uh, to just just to make sure you can you can put this round a boot if you want to make sure that it's nice and fast on there as well there isn't let me just triple check I'm sure there isn't no so there isn't um, anything on here that you can clip on so that you can clip it onto the laces on your boot I guess that wouldn't be too difficult to try and stitch in yourself if you wanted to um, but yes so as they come out of the box or out of the bag as such uh, there isn't anything there that you can affix it to your boot or the laces on there should you want to. Now I'll definitely say when I first saw these appear on the Helicon Text website I was a little bit unsure about them. I think mainly due to the arrangement of the pockets and they, yeah, they just seemed a little pocket-tastic. Now, looking into it a little bit more and seeing the heritage and how they were inspired by those 1950s airborne style pants that uh, the, the, the guys used to wear back then, and actually having put them on, I think a lot of it, like so many different things, the proof of the pudding really is in the tasting, isn't it? And then when you get them on and you, you kind of get a feel for them, they're actually a really nice pant. I like the fact that they are starting to make more of a tra transition from a traditional pant. Now a traditional pant isn't necessarily high waisted but it does sit just kind of around the belly button which is a very traditional military style pant. Whereas I think for modern jeans, they tend to have come down a little bit lower so it sits below your, your action man lines and it's a little bit friendlier on the belly, especially for a guy like me. I, I have a, you know, um, an athletic dad bod, I'd like to say. So it, it, they, yes, they just sit a little bit better for me. Um, and yeah, I, I, I certainly like that a lot of these companies now are certainly are, are, are trying to transition over to uh, to these these newer cuts. Um, and yeah, I, I do. I generally like these. Very comfortable to wear, even if it's just on a day-to-day -day basis. I've worn these into the office and got a few looks, but I, I certainly find that people generally tend to look at me a little bit different nowadays. Uh, I've been out into the woods with these, climbing around between trees, and everything that I've thrown at these, they've they've just yeah, they've just worked past. And um, yeah, they're a nice pair of pants. Now as I usually do, I'll leave some links below so that you can see more from these pants on the Helicon Tex website. Um, I will be at IWA this year, in fact this year, next week, next Wednesday, I'll be at IWA and hopefully we'll be bringing you some more content on the new lineup that Helicon Tex have for next year as well. But for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander and stay EDC comes down maybe only about an, an inch or so but it's just enough to make them for me that actually a little bit more comfortable that's a huge plane oh it's a helicopter shouldn't own that Now let's take these off.
shoot. Oh, click didn't work. My hands are too dry. That's better. Shoot. Hi. We breathing in thing. I need singing lessons so I can, I can learn how to use my diaphragm correctly. Maybe not singing lessons, that sound awful. Shoot, hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. Now today's piece of content, we're talking pants. Yep, so Helicon Techs recently released their MC they're all new MCDU pants. They're a bit different. Um, I think when I first looked at them, I was like, wow, they're, a bit, they're very pockety. But I wanted to get my hands on a pair so that I could bring you some information on them. So I picked these up. Uh, and yeah, that's what we're going to have a look at today. Uh, so as usual, now, what do I want to say? MCDU, MCDU, 